<laughs> Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. Today we decided to see which is the best five color deck. We have Flash Hulk Najila, Flash Hulk Kenrith, Food Chain Sliver, and Scion of the Ur Dragon Reanimator. Begin. I'm gonna pay two life and get taxing prone. You're a terrible hand. Okay, we got it ad nauseum in our future boys. Draw a card. Underground Sea. Mana Dork that can be cast off of Underground Sea. And a Mana Crypt. Pretty good. Pass my turn. Draw. I will play a Tropical Island and an Elvish Mystic. Alright. Soul Land. I get a Soul Son of a. Go ahead, draw a card. Fetch. I'm gonna tap this for a green. And cast the Utopia Sprawl on the Taiga. I'm gonna name it Green. Cast an Arbor Elf. With the red mana, yep. I will mm -hmm. cast Ninja. And then I will cast. Did you roll for uh, Mana Crypts? No, I didn't. I We're really competitive here, yeah, Dave. What is true? Play a Soul Ring. Wow, you guys like Soul Ring. Can we talk about how three players have a Soul Ring on turn two? It's a good card. Ban Soul Ring. Everyone plays it, and it's so good. Sorcerer's Beat Bandstorm. Uh, draw three. Deal 120 damage with an 8 9 target. <laughs> Wall of Roots. Turns are passed. Oh, damage. Nate. Come use for 3. Shock for me. Tap for a red to green, use the green for a bird, and then I'll pass my turn. For the monster, play a lotus petal, play a lady. I have coffees on. Pull it Wall of Roots in front of the Jilla. End of turn, I'm going to take another one and Enlighten Tutor. How many cards are in everybody's hands? At this point in the game, I had Eternal Scourge in my hand and I was about to draw this food, food chain. chain. And this was going to be a turn three combo kill on the <laughs> entire table until... Draw the food chain. Cast food chain. Well, he can make Ooh. a mana with the Wall of Roots and then sack the Wall of Roots for three mana and he has enough to cast him and then he can make infinite mana. I'm going to pass for Ariana. I got nothing to stop that. Black, red. Colorless. Who, who do you want to get the spirit to? To you. I'll take it. Um, we will cast Fire Covenant. The Fire Nation attacked. Isn't that like how did <laughs> <the> intel? <laughs> then everything changed <laughs> yeah. when the Fire Nation attacked. X is gonna be ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to make a mana. I'm gonna tap Arbor Elf to untap this Taiga. Uh, tap it for a red and a green, and use the green for a Veil of Summer. Isn't it amazing in this format that we're casting Plague Wind for three mana at instant speed, and Cryptic Command for one mana? Damn bad. And uncounterable negate. Okay. To the, to the Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer. Dead, dead, dead. Cast. At the end of your turn, I'm gonna cast Lindel's Vault. Ah, uh, yes. The longest <laughs> the spell longest in the world to resolve. Put them on top on this order. Untap. Draw this card. And I'll play Aristic Study. This next card is an abrupt decay, so someone let me draw a card. See what I did there? Get the Aristic Study, draw engine, but say you gotta let me draw a card, because I can stop him, bro. Fucking wheeling. We're dealing. I know you have it at nausea in your hand. I'm gonna attack you. Spirit too. I'll pass my turn. Hey, Tiger. Can I draw a card? Oh, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, I will draw one. I'm gonna practice. World of the one of those it's a, I th the game's over. Go back. What was that like? Bayou. He got a Bayou and then, oh, and then he took it back. I don't know if it is, unless you have backup. I think it's, oh, I think. Okay, let's we'll see. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Let's see. All right. Top. Top. Draw. And no. Second longest spell in the world to resolve. You're four. Can I draw cards too? You're three. Sack. Yep. For red, backside. Three for me, one from him. Two That's for me. Two, so five, six, seven, eighteen. Crack Lotus Petal for black. Cast him in two. Oh, Whoa, Blood Your Dragon. Obviously, you don't activate Scion. So I have six. You have six. Can, can I draw a card? In response like, to that trigger. So there's going to be another one. I'm going to worldly tutor here. Can I draw a card off of that? Yeah. Can I draw a card off of your silence? I'm going to get my own Dockside Extortionist. Okay. I will cast the Force of Will, pitching Mystic Remora, targeting the Silence. Okay, so I have to do this then. Keep the red floating, tainted path. So I just go until I stop at Pyro Blast for Red Elemental Blast. <laughs> Pyro Blast. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Exile this card yeah. and use the red to Pyro Blast the dispel. I think I just let it resolve. I know this 
play kind of sucks because now he's casting silence and he just ad nauseum. So I know he has a win condition in his hand. So I have to stop him from winning, but now I can't abrupt decay Cameron who is playing food chain. I'm just hoping that since Nate who is playing Kenrith just ad nauseum, maybe he has some interaction and also the Rhystic study allows me to draw as he goes through his food chain. So maybe I can draw, I don't know, a timely force of will. What's nice is that uh, with Cascade, I can choose not to cast the spell. Yeah. So if things come up in orders in, that I don't really want them to happen, that's fine. I can just not cast it. It will go right to the bottom. And then mm -hmm. for just the next going. time that I want it, I'll be able to keep going and do that. Pyro Blast resolves on the spell. And okay. there's a spell. Force of will. Counters the sound. But now I can't have up to get it from Chain. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have two colors floating. Yeah, I'm gonna demonic tutor. <laughs> okay. Attacking this. He wins. Attack All right, now so, take four. All right, go to my turn. Untap, draw, draw. cast, Dockside Extortionist. Major draw card. No! Use the floating color list. One, two, three, four. four. Sanctus. Cool. Five, six, all together. Use three. Eternal Scourge. Can draw card. Yes. I'll draw a card. If you want to make an, an enormous amount of mana, okay. I can draw as many cards as I want. Well, that's fine by me. Do it once. Okay, make so I'll draw a card. four blue. Okay. I'm going to do it again. Make four. I'm going to set it up so that I have one of each color floating. I'm going to cast first. Cascade? Cascade. Okay. Cascade into silence. <laughs> so my plan to like... <laughs> My There's plan. no plan after any of this happens. The, the plan is over. Um, Cast silence. That is convenient. Can, Can I draw a card off the silence? Yes. Cascade through my whole library with this infinite mana here. A laboratory maniac from a cascade and demonic consultation naming Tarp of Life. Turn four. Nice. Turn four. Technically, we all know that should have been Jace. We or you could have just cast a cantrip afterwards, like a brainstorm. No matter what would have happened, there were so many other ways I could have kept cascading through my deck. Nobody would have had any chance to stop me. Food chain's still pretty good. I'm gonna grab some. Bob resolves on my end. All right, here comes Cam. Catacombs. Cast Imperial Seal. That's the one. Play City of Grass. Cast Magila. I'll tap one for a green. And pass my turn. I'm stuck. In two? Oh man. We're doing this in two? We're dead. <laughs> I want two Ginger Taxes. The Tiger. Cast Death. Target Ginger Taxes. I was 10. End step trigger? Yep. Discarding Imperial Seal, Bloodstain Mire, Sylvan Library, Breaking Pool. What the fuck? How do you discard Imperial Seal? We're so dead. Trigger? Yep. There there's you go. A, there's a way to there's get rid of it. Hands. That pyroblast is like hilariously, <laughs> conveniently timed out. And I will pyroblast it. Um, Tarnish Citadel. Food chain? <clears throat> Pass priority. Pass priority. Okay. Tap. Untap. Exile. Make two mana. Cast. Eternal Scourge? <laughs> <laughs> Food chain's still pretty good. Everyone's tapped out. This is an optimal time to get it down. Go infinite. I'm going to cascade through <laughs> Damn, my Damn, I had to gate two and I could have held it up, but I'm like, I need to get fresh on the board. It's only turn two. I would want to flash. Food chain wins games. That should be like a shirt. Food chain Food wins chain games. wins games. That's clever. That's good. We should use that. We should use that. We're copywriting that. Don't use that. Yeah, that's, that's for us. That one's us. I guess there is like an argument that I could have kept in the gate open because he imperial sealed, but... I, that can't be right. I don't know, maybe it is right. Maybe I just have to be as protective as possible from as early a chance as I can be. What do you think? Should I have kept the gate open There's there? a lot of times, and I found this to happen in Constructed a lot too, where you have to figure out, do I make the play that puts me forward or the play that's going to help me stay in the game if someone tries to go off? Right. I think a lot of times in situations like these, you have to be more proactive so that that way you can be the person that's going to put the threat on. You have two other people that are going to be able to potentially stop your opponent as well. Who who would have thought that I had a, had it all on turn three? Well, you had I did. Yeah, I was well aware. <laughs> I will draw a card. Cast a utopia scroll. Name red. And then I will pass my turn after that. Well, I was going to play Najila, but do I have to hold up now? 
by you. As <laughs> birds. Because we're holding two cards like Exiles that. like yeah, Chronic Rift and cast the Chrome Box. Pass. Untap. Pass. Except Yeah. Doesn't this sound like Pirates of the Caribbean music? It kind of does. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like a do, 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 do. I'm gonna end of turn. We're going to Mystical Tutor. It is a natural. I'm gonna cast the land where else. Fetch this. Let's go by Dominic's Call. Yeah, I'm gonna respond to your Call. Sure. With Buster Strip. Yeah, sure. I'm tapped. Chuck. I'm gonna attack some code you again since I know you have a flash. But... Okay. Play Bayou. Pass. I'm gonna pass with you. Yeah. No, I need to hold it mana. I know he has flash and he just oh. mental missed up my attacking code, which means me to believe he's got the win. Play underground seat. <laughs> pass you guys. I'm gonna put the back on the crack. I have one code with the There. So if you notice that, Nate, who's playing Kenrith right there, he just fetched. He got an underground sea, but then after he got the underground sea, he like second thought and realized that he needed green, I guess, and switched it to breeding pool. It was just a mistake, it was just an accident. It kind of matters, but it also like, whatever, we're just playing magic. <laughs> Cast an Avacyn's Pilgrim. Cast an Imperial Seal. Garden top, which up. Blue and a red, under. Okay. I'm just gonna say X is five and point one at every creature. Can Can't do my plan without it, so I'm gonna try to manage right now. I will. Managing results, Pastor. Islands, does anyone have more than one island? I have, have one, two now. he's I got two. two. And I won't be floating, so that's not. Pastor. So, you get so I get three colorless. I'm gonna use one of the colorless into blue, cast Manipulate Fate. Eternal Scourge, Mist Hollow, and okay. School. Great. Draw here, play land for turn. Cast First Sliver, Cascade Trigger. Cascade into Dark Ritual. Great, all right, there's Dark Ritual. So I'm gonna cast Eternal Scourge. Right. Pass the turn. I just said, I'll tap, draw I will tap three here. Four to zero. No response. I feel like he can go with this turn. I'm going to top. Silence. On my turn before my draw. Honestly, if I'm Tyler, I'm pretty excited about this silence here. I'm still able to use my commander's ability and try to go off that way as well. So this turn is not going to be a total loss. So, first main, I will generate two green. Play a scroll blend. I will use the floating two to activate Sion. Silence is on, so I can't even cast anything. Yes, yeah. now a copy of Dragon Age. Three and five, I can. I'll okay. take it. Just starting a Pyroblast, a Dovin's Veto, oh a Mana Drain, and a Summoner's Pass. Oh. I was like, I'm waiting. I just wait. I can wait forever. I got all the counter in the wall. Oh, one, look at this. Three, Terrible three, seven. Five, that is it. I'm passing. <laughs> Chain of Vapor. My spell super. No response. Spell super. Not just for five. Not just for five. This yep. all happens. Is my hand flash. That was like impressive, honestly. He just went through so many different loops and steps to reuse his cards to get Flash Hulk. Although it was a little bold of him to do so after everyone just drew a fresh seven. Well, hold up, hold up. To that, I say, I'm gonna take it. All right, Flash on seven. Tundra and Swan Song. Sometimes you gotta just make him have it. Cam had it. Add effects here instead. Flow to blue, red, and a black. Cast Fire Cup. <laughs> for X's one, two, three, four, five. I pointed at all the creatures. For some reason in my head, I counted Eternal Scourge's toughness as two. I meant three, I meant to kill everyone, so I should be at one less life. Go to my turn. Wall of Roots. Recast Eternal Scourge. Okay. Draw card. Play a Lotus Petal. Underground City. Spellseeker. We get demonic concentration. Oh, do you, do you just have it in your hands? I do. <laughs> Tap this for blue with the red floating. Set this for a second blue. Cast Thassa's Oracle. The trigger on the stack, I'll hold priority and cast demonic consultation. Naming Black Lotus. No response. I am not responding. Oh, I don't have a response. That means no. that you got okay. it. Okay. Exiles, Thassa's Oracle trigger happens. I win the game? You have a fucking nice. Black Lotus in there? You have a Black Lotus? <laughs> 
turns out everything that people were saying about Thassa's Oracle is correct. It's a great new win condition for CEDH decks. As far as best five color deck, does this solve that question? Absolutely not. But Food Chain's pretty good. Najeel is pretty good. Kenrith's probably pretty good too. To be honest, I just chose Sign of the Ur Dragon because it's not a deck that I see particularly often and it is known as like one of the older classic powerhouses of original EDH. I don't know how to wrap this video yeah, up. Yeah, me neither. We've seen all the comments about the volume. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't aware we were going to be using the table audio when we recorded that. I thought Cameron and I were going to voice over the whole thing, and then as I was editing it, it evolved into something different. This episode, recorded in the same way, on the same day as that last one. But the next one, we will have lav mics on us recording much better audio, I promise. But for now, we tried our best to fix this. I seem huge and you seem small. We're regular sized, I swear. We're <laughs> regular sized. I would like to be clear like that both of us both are of us are normal, regular sized. We're regular people. Yeah, and there's nothing. <laughs> Should we just end this in the middle of a sentence? So like we're just I'll, like in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, yeah sure. Alright. Alright, well it's uh, just wait, do you have one? Oh we already. Too?